being a musician in the Navy, it's a really rewarding experience because not only do you get to serve your country, but you also get to play music and, and do what you love. So it's cool to be the first American that people have met and you get to play music for them, which is something that even if they speak another language, they can understand. I started playing music in fifth grade in public school. And my brother, who's two years older than me, he played clarinet. And I chose trombone because I thought all the keys on the clarinet was really confusing to me. And so I was kind of exposed to that as, at a young age. I like to write music a lot. And I, I always like that because I get to decide what people play and not the other way around, where I'm always you're stuck to what's on the page. But when you're the composer or the arranger, you get to decide what's on the page. So I started out writing for trombone because that's what I knew. So I did a couple duets and trios and quartets and eventually just worked my way up into larger and larger ensembles. I originally was approached by my master chief at the Naval School of Music. I was teaching class and he came up to me and said, hey, the band out in Italy needs a march to, for, the, for the region. Would you be able to write something for them? And immediately I said yes, because at that time I was kind of in a dry spell with composing. And so I was kind of chomping at the bit to write a new piece. So I immediately started going at it. The piece is called Trust, Deter, Defense. And it's a tribute to the relationship between the US Navy and our allies in Europe and Africa. My role was to write, pretty much write the cadence for that march. And what the idea is, the context of it, is half of it would be a standard military march, and the second half would be Afro, Afrobeat influence. It helps connect the naval forces Europe and naval forces Africa, especially with our outreach in Africa. I had never written Afrobeat in a cadence, so I pretty much had a practice pad and just created whatever came to mind as you to my imagination. If I bring in a piece of music, or if any of us bring in a piece of music, we're willing to play it. This is the Royal Palace. It's an iconic location for Naples, and we wanted something that really sent the signal about the closeness between NATO, U.S. Navy, Naples, and Italy. Music is uh, you know, very much part of our lives, and in many ways we identify with it. So I wanted to have something that identified who we were. In its official world premiere, we present to you Trust, Deter, Defend, the March of U.S. Naval Forces Europe and Africa. I think what really makes me want to keep composing is when you play, when you bring in a piece and it's played by the band, the reaction that the musicians give you, oh, this is a really cool piece, I really like this part, and the reaction that the audience has is, makes it worth it. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the work that I did for this march. It's definitely my best concert piece that I've ever written, and I'm also proud of the exposure that this is gonna get. Even if they hear my name in the program notes, they're still not gonna know who I am. So hopefully when they hear my piece, they can think of something that's really cool and. It's, you know, heroic and satisfying to them, and they can put together a Hollywood picture in their head when they listen to it. From here, I want to stay in the Navy as long as I can and go as high as I can. 
And the advice I would give to young musicians and younger sailors is don't be afraid to go outside of the box, your comfort zone. Just start writing music and learn from your mistakes. That way you just keep getting better and better at it.